you guys? It's your girl Amber back again with another video. And put that thumbnail and that title, you see. We're back with a five on Friday. Ooh. I gotta do something to make that like pop out. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Anyway, so um, by the title, you see, we're going to be talking about um, what are we finna be talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna I be forgot that's about, why I did that. <laughs> we're gonna be talking about falling out with your friends. Oh yes, slowly falling. Oh, you don't dress. How do we? Oh. Okay, so um. <laughs> So guys, have you guys ever had a friend and you just like fall out for whatever reason and then they don't tell you that they're mad at you, but you know that they're mad, but they don't speak about it? Why? It happens to the best of us. I'm sure everybody can relate to falling out with a friend on here. Yeah, I fell out. You no longer see them on this channel, that's why. <laughs> but my thing is like, and it's not Shira. We miss Shira. Don't even go there because I feel like they will go yeah, there. No, it's no, not no. Shira. It's not Shira. She just can't be. Y'all know she always laid and Always she, laid in. Yeah. Shira just pregnant. not here today, but we it's still just, love Shira. Shout out to Shy. And the babies. Yes, the babies. With the S. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I just feel like. Let's just get right into it. If you're mad at me, tell me. Don't be a weirdo and don't tiptoe and expect me to know why you're mad at me. If if I'm acting as if I don't know, it's because I really don't know. I'm not acting. I'm not just like, oh, I'm mad, but I'm not going to say it because I'm five years old. That's how I feel. <laughs> I feel like if you are woman enough to be mad at me, then be woman enough to tell me why you're mad at me. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Like, do you not know how to communicate? Why can you not communicate? That's what's, the, what's wrong with the world. That's why relationships don't last. Because people can't communicate. Communication is the key to any relationship. Like any. You have to learn how to express your feelings. And if you can't do it verbally, write that shit down. Anything. But at least let the person know. Like to me, if I really loved one of my friends and they did something that I was offended by. I'm I would love them enough to express like hey you know that really hurt my feelings or like i really wasn't feeling when you did that yeah and if you can't do that maybe that's just not your friend because i don't understand how you could be friend for like friends with some because like you can have associates and you can have people that you know and you can rock with and you you know who to call for certain events but like <laughs> i hate my neighbors so much let me not say that. They look young. Her. Okay, I don't hate her. I just... I cannot wait to move. Ignore that. <laughs> this is real life. Yay. And see. So we're back. Um, yeah. Have you guys ever had a friend? So any, any um, examples? Okay, so I just feel like you can't not tell somebody the per the problem and then expect them to know by osmosis or whatever you think is telling Or telling people. other people, like telling someone we have in common, because you know they're going to tell me. Just tell me. Are you scared? Are and you afraid? Know. Okay, so the problem with that is when you tell other people, they get to control the narrative. Exactly. Like, you shouldn't even want nobody else to control what you're Because then they come thinking. at you like, why you do this to who so-and-so? No. First and of all. No, and it's not even that. It's not even that. It's just like, oh, well, she feels this way because she said you did this to her. And then it's like. I didn't even do that. Why would you want a spokesperson? You're grown enough to speak for yourself. Another person should not be your representative. Just say what the problem is. I don't want nobody speaking on my behalf Here. i'm grown i got my grown. own mouth i can speak for myself thank you and then when it comes from another person it just looks super childish like you your concerns may really be genuine but this person is presenting it like it's this big and now i'm looking at you like girl that's what you mad for like that's the thing it really be something so small like i know this person who's going through something like right now and their um family member won't speak to them because of something that she heard from another close friend like a family member but they're not like blood related and it's just like first of all why are you starting drama between two family members when you're just a family friend that's my thing you're going back and telling this person oh this person said this it's so difficult because i want to say names so bad but i can't <laughs> i literally can't because they are going to watch this video and yes i'm talking about you um no, don't, don't go to one person about your family member and then believe that instead of just going to your family member and saying i'm mad at you for this reason 
that's weird that's what adults should be able to do i'm sorry like, why can you like i don't get it yeah I don't if you are you're you were taught at a young age use your words how is someone and then you get mad that they don't know that you mad right <laughs> how am i supposed to know you mad at me right just because like, you're not calling i don't know first of all somebody was like well you should have knew i was mad because i wasn't calling you every day first of all i don't don't call me every day do not call me every day that's how i realized that people are like mad at me though because i talk to my friends very regularly to that's how i know if my like, cousin is mad at me jasmine yeah, yes you like could. if we don't talk for a minute i'm like okay what's what's wrong with this like, mm. what's her problem show issue but okay moving on mm. y'all get the point so let's give you some tips <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was already a tip. Use your words, Use communicate. Your words, communicate. Be mature enough to have those tough conversations. I, I say, I say what's on your mind. Work it out. Move like, past it. I understand this is a um, five on Friday, but I don't really have five. I, it's okay. Let me tell y'all my next one, please, because this is an issue that I had recently. If you're not gonna be grown enough to communicate the problem, which was number one, mm. number two. Don't communicate the problem to social media. <laughs> you, Why are you subbing me? You can tell your whole timeline what the problem is, but you can't tell me you have my number. You, you have my social media. Right. You know I'm going to see this. You That's know, why you're posting You know me. how to contact me. You know where I live. You know who I be with. You know how to reach me. You reach me. You know my mama. You reach me any other time. But now you want to post and let all uh, 600 of your little followers see what the problem is. But you couldn't directly tell me. I have to figure out something is wrong with you through a meme. <laughs> <laughs> like we are entirely How old are we? We are. At some point, you're going to have to grow up. Because you are 25 years oh. old. 25, 26, some right, of us are 24. Right. <sighs> Baby, just, the math ooh, is not math. That does not sit right with me at all. <laughs> what? <laughs> Once you take it to the socials, we're You're childish. Mm. You thought about like, okay, I'm gonna get on my phone. I'm gonna type in my password. <laughs> I'm gonna go on Instagram, click the app. I'm gonna make me a post just to talk about someone instead of just calling them. If you don't want to call me, text me. Email me. I just feel like that is he so demeaning to the relationship. It if just that shows is really your yeah. friend. Mm -hmm. You found a quote and pressed the little airplane share button <laughs> instead of opening your eye message and being like, hey, you know, can we talk? I really have an issue with something that you did. I want to work it out. Like, you rather go to ni niggas be okay or right, just the boy. <laughs> what? Grow up. I'm sorry. That's just why are you is. subbing me? And then, okay, let me tell y'all what my problem is. Like, I expect people to have that same mentality as me, like to love me enough not to sub me. Yeah. So when I see somebody like posting something that I feel is directed towards me, I'm not gonna post anything back. I'm going to screenshot your post and, and I'm going to you. send it to you personally. And I'm going to say, hey, I felt that this was directed towards me. Is there something you want to talk about? And then when and I do that, when don't you do lie that, and say, oh, mm -hmm. it wasn't about you. Who else was it about? Who was it about then? You should have just put my damn name. You should have just added me, bro. Like, <laughs> that's what kills me. And then it's like, if you're going to be bold enough to post something about somebody, be bold enough to own up to it. Yeah, I did post that about you. And this is why. Thank then you. we can just talk about it. Be now, a woman about right. it. Right. Now, it's plenty of people who might see that. I'll be getting sub left and right. I wake up to subs. Like, <laughs> dang. <laughs> you know? So, it's plenty of people who might see this video and be like, oh, well, you was talking about me in the video. And I'm going to be like, I absolutely was. Yeah, because you weren't woman enough to do it to tell me. So, I'm going to be woman enough to tell you through this video. If you have right. an issue with me, tell me. If you, if you sub me and you feel like I'm speaking about you, and if this. you come to me and ask me, I'm going to tell you, yeah, because this is what happened. Then we can either work it out or we can go our separate way. E either or it's fine. But don't get on Beyonce's internet acting a fool. Oh my god. <laughs>
That's just what it is. Like, everybody ain't got to know we're not friends no more. No, for real. But you know what? I had to learn that. <laughs> I had to learn that because I was a big, oh, <laughs> tweet. Ever sometimes still be. <laughs> And do, but the difference is you gonna know I have an issue with you because I'm going to tell you. Y'all yeah. just don't yeah. like responding to me. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. I wouldn't respond to me either. Yeah. I just feel like grow up. That's the, grow that's up the like that. That's the tweet. <laughs> that's the tweet. Okay. Next piece of advice. So this is a piece of advice that somebody gave me that was like astounding. Mm -hmm. Know when to let it go. Mm -hmm. And she said, "This is her words exactly. Care." but don't carry. I said, girl, that's a okay. word. I'm gonna say it again. Care, but don't carry. Meaning, okay, it's all, you don't have to act nonchalant. You don't have to act like it's not bothering you. If you love exactly. that person, it's gonna bother you. Right. But if they're acting like they can live without you, they're cool without you, don't harp on it. Don't carry it with you. Woo! Let me tell you something. It's hard. It's hard, especially when you have a good heart and you know, like, I'm about to get personal. Never mind. <laughs> it's when you <laughs> take your time. Sis. It's just like this is just like a lot because yeah. it's it's so stupid and so petty. Like if you have a problem, just say it. Because if you don't have a problem, like if the problem is that big, like why you can't tell me? Am I intimidating? Is it me? <laughs> Let me know. I mean, I don't Am know. Am I hard to talk to? Am no. I mean? I, I think, think I'm very so. nice. I think that people just can't handle me, and that's okay. I'm not built Everybody's for Everybody's not handleable. <laughs> but it's like you have to know when to let it go. Like if you've been trying and trying with this person, you put out so many attempts to mend the relationship, and they're still not being receptive to it. You got to be like, you know what? I love you, but I have to release you for me. That's that on that. You always gonna love the person. Mm -hmm. like, it's people I fell out with that I have known for. Years. years like since we were this and of course it hurts like I'm always gonna cherish the memories and the times that I have with that person but it's like if you're not willing to move forward with whatever the problem is I can't live my whole life trying to get you to accept me exactly I I, I'm not about to sit here and, and continue to kiss your ass I'm not I did I'm it not. once I'm never gonna do it again yeah and even when people that I've like grown really close to like I haven't known them as long mm -hmm. but we built a strong connection in the short amount of time and it's like that still hurts you know it does hurt because like like I actually genuinely love people like when I call I you too. my friend like you're really my friend yeah like your and, family but I want to set the record straight right here just because we may no longer be friends anymore that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop like supporting your family but, but because I support your family does not mean don't think that I'm only supporting your family to build a relationship with you I actually like your family better than I like you <laughs> I'm sorry that's just what it is oh like, wow well. oh I don't think I have any well, it depends. Ooh, mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do. <laughs> um, I don't know. And then that's how it is, too. Like, when you know a person for that long, you do get close to their family and, like, yes. people that are close to them. So, but I that's what makes it hard. That's what makes you want to fight for the relationship exactly. more. Exactly. it's like, bitch, I love you. Right, why, right. Why you being weird to me? Why you being weird to me? <laughs> why you being weird? Why you being weird to me? You said you wanted to get married. No, for real, yeah. But it, it is like that. Like, sometimes when you have those lifelong friends and y'all fall out, they mama still look oh, like you they do Yes. That's how one of my friends is. Like, I'll be calling her mama. Like, talking to her. No, like, literally. I'll go out to eat with her mama. And she don't talk to me. <laughs> but it is what it is. Like, it we're is family. Like, that's it is. how it goes. I see this person's parents out. And I'd be more happy to see them. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, hey, dad. Hey, yeah, it'd be like that. It'd be like that, that. And that's the weird part. Like, is that like stepping over boundaries though? Because like, okay, say the, the situation was different and like your mom was the one hanging out. Like, would you want your mom to not hang out with that person? It depends on the person. Now, I have a lot of friends who don't have like that motherly bond mm -hmm. and like they don't have close relationships with their mom so like okay. one of my I think friends I make a is that. like my, she's like your mom is like my biggest inspiration Aww. and so if me and her were to fall out god forbid i will fight you if you stop being my friend <laughs> but 
you know, God forbid if we were to fall out and she still needed my mom, I wouldn't be mad at that. Cause it's See, like, that's she the doesn't theme. have that. Like I have a, re a great relationship with my mom. Like I don't need another relationship with someone else's mother, mm -hmm. but I enjoy the relationship that I have with someone you, else's Yeah, mother. I mean, like, it's a I village. I genuinely like love her, like yeah. as if she was like a second mom, you exactly, know? Exactly, yeah. It, and it's just crazy. Cause like you grow up with people like from high school and it's like you, become like family with them like mm -hmm. i was i was telling her mom things that i wasn't even telling my mom like we were locked in like it'll be times i'll be at that person's house the the, the ex friend would be in her room me and the mom in the living room <laughs> <laughs> chatting and i'm just like wow why are you being weird to me you know <laughs> anyway i'm getting too personal yeah and no like i wouldn't be mad at my mom for speaking to somebody or like you know talking to somebody and just because i wasn't cool. but i think i would i don't think i would i'm very i'm petty <laughs> i wouldn't i don't know we differ on that but i'm also learning to not be a cutoff queen that's not cute Careful, that don't, don't get you carry. nowhere in life no one to let go Sometimes you gotta cut them off, and that's the hard thing. Like, but you, you gonna realize, cut off everybody? Yeah, every, uh, you have to know who's worth it and who's not. Like, if and you're, it's you can't decipher the two. Why you can't? Why? Yeah. Like, if you're just being a stone wall, you have no desire to try to mend the relationship. You're not meeting me halfway. I'm begging you to be my friend. No. That's how I felt. I felt like I was begging, and I don't. Mm, I don't and it's begging. like if okay if that person is like you know what like it's hard for me right now you really did hurt me but we can be cool like eventually. how i hurt you tell me how i hurt you you can't even do that so shut up <laughs> okay she's i just got mad <laughs> i just got mad i just okay Woo! so um do you have another piece of advice my only know? advice is if you're mad at me tell me and if you feel like you cannot talk to me that means that we were never friends because how are you my friend and you cannot talk to me if you're my friend you know the type of person i am you know my triggers you know what pisses me off you know when and where and how to talk to me i am a friend that requires a lot i know that but you should know that if you're my friend Everyone knows if I just had like a seizure or if I'm on my period, do not talk to me. I don't want to talk. <laughs> and I will tell you, like, I'm on my period. I don't want to talk. And you, yeah, listen, respect people's boundaries. Respect. Right. you going to have those days too. It's that. Everybody has, everybody has those days. Everybody, everybody has, has those days. Yeah. Everybody. Okay. So, next piece of advice I have. Trust God's rejection. It mm. may be your protection. Maybe it's just not the right time for you and that person to be besties. Like maybe that person is going through a season of where God is trying to refine them, mm. teach them lessons, where God is working on them. You don't need to be involved in that. And you got to understand it's not always about you. Do not internalize other people's problems yeah everything is not about you honey. it's all about timing like you may not be cool with somebody right now but maybe like in a couple of years when they like look back and seen how much they've grown and like changed literally oh my gosh that is so true because yeah. me and my cousin we were not talking for years ask me why i don't know it's stupid petty but she had a baby and like she changed People like she change. did a whole yes. 360 and i love my cousin i've always loved my cousin even when we weren't talking i love her but like now like i don't know like it feels weird when i go like a couple days without talking to her like that's like my we grew up Sister, as sisters yeah. like dead as we grew up as sisters we wore the same things <laughs> our parents dressed us the same like easter sunday we had we was in macy's from head to toe okay if you're a church girl, you know socks, ruffles, white oh. shoes, patent leather. <laughs> you know, you every every birthday, build a bear this, build a bear that. Yeah. And it's just like I I I hate that we miss so much time, but like you we needed that. Like mm -hmm. I would try to mend the relationship. Like I would randomly text her and stuff, and it would not and work. And they're not out. in a space to receive. She it. wasn't in a space to receive it. Yes, yeah. but now she is, and our relationship is so good. And yeah. you know who you are. So you know who you are. Yeah, trust God. Like timing and seasons are everything. Yes. Like, I'm accepting right now that like okay, so I have a friend. Like we were super super close when we were in the same season in life. Mm -hmm. Now that we're in two different seasons, it's hard for me to kind of see where she coming from because I'm like, girl, <laughs> like, what are you doing? 
Like you're so much better than the way that you're operating right now. <laughs> Bro, but in literally. Some years when I, now, cause listen, they always come to me as the friend, like that's the um, words of wisdom or like the friend, you know. With you the, are. I'll be trying. You're the brain. But <laughs> when they finally come back and she looks back and she, like two years from now, she gonna be like, dang, I really was tripping. Like I was wild then. And then me and her gonna be Bro, good again. Yep. That, you know. Unless I'm with, in the season uh, where I'm wilding. With some people, I feel that, but after like a certain, like after that certain situation, that is, it's just yeah, no, null and yeah, void. No. Yeah, no, null and void. It's, yeah, no. it's so. And she would have to change like herself. Hella, like she would have to be a whole new person. But that's who she is. She is an asshole. And that's what you guys have to learn too. If somebody is just that way and they're fine with the way that they are, it's not worth it. Because then you're going to internalize their own self issues and be like, well, dang, like she really don't like me. Maybe it's me. It's not you. That's just who that person is. Yeah, you have to just let it go. Because I have a friend like that. Like she is very, very unforgiving and she's very like she just does. She's not an understanding person. And I can't expect her to be that because that's not who she is. So if we fall out, I can't be like, oh, well it's me like come on now you know like that's just who she is and if i keep trying and trying and trying it's only gonna hurt me she don't care she said that she doesn't care she's like post it that she doesn't uh, right she's like <laughs> i'm not no literally out of her own mouth i know i have a bad attitude and i'm not working on it what do you want me to do with that i can't do anything with that and so that's how you guys have to be if that's how a person is just know that's how they are and what? don't try to change it like don't try to change it because you only gonna you're only gonna deplete your own energy what she said that yes on video did i, I miss that video you were there what the i need to go back <laughs> i need to go ain't no way i missed that yeah but it's what? okay it's okay you know it's all still love like i always say oh my gosh she did yes yes yeah 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 everybody laughed but i was like Oof. that's not funny why did i laugh <laughs> I don't think I would. But yeah, really I mean there. that's just how it is. Like, like I said, you have to love and accept people for who you are. If your attitude is bad and you love it, I love it. If you like it, I love it. See, my attitude is bad, but like I don't like it. You know, like I try to fix it, but people really just be trying me. And I have a short temper. But see, that's the thing. I can admit that there is something wrong. You know, I can it. Some people they some people can admit it. Yeah, but they don't want to fix That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, I can admit that something is wrong and I actually do want to fix it with some people. But some people deserve the treatment that they get. I'm sorry. If you're... It's hard. Friendships are just like friendships relationships. Are, I like, think, no, friendships are way harder. Yeah. Especially Ooh. girls. I be... Yeah, like you have to nurture your Because who are you talking are. to? Like, people like to get mouthy. They like to talk to you any type of way. They like to be like, oh, I was drunk. And if I was drunk, you should not. Oh, well, I do be drunk. <laughs> like, but that's my off. That's my thing also. Like, if you know that you're going to get super, you, you know that you get super intoxicated and you start to be mouthy and be weird, don't be around me because don't be mouthy to me. If, uh, especially if I'm not drunk too. Because I feel like you're true. A lot of truth comes out when you're angry and that when you're drunk. That is very, very true. I've had my little drunken moments. And if you be saying some crazy, mm -hmm, I'm going to be like, oh, this is how you feel. Yeah. And I'm going to bring it back up to you when you're sober. I'm going to be like, this is what you say. Ooh, child. Yeah. Anywho. Um, yeah, I don't, I didn't really have five. Um, yeah, that's, that's I literally had two. Too. I literally said, talk to each other. Oh, my God, the camera's about to die. Just talk, communicate. That's it. Um, oh, all right. You wanted to see okay, me? guys. So that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. If you want more videos with Trinice, comment down below because you know she's she has all the video ideas for real. I do. Yeah. This was her idea. Shout out to her. <laughs> um, her Instagram will be in the description box below and also right here, and so will mine be right here as well. Like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye. Bye.